Kingfisher Interpretive Center, Lesson 3, the Interior Temperate Rainforest. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Kingfisher Interpretive Center. My name is Barb, and today I'm going to share with you what I know about this very special forest. Boys and girls, did you know that this is a rainforest? It's not a tropical rainforest. There are no monkeys or parrots in this forest. It's not hot and rainy. It's cool, mild and rainy. It's a temperate rainforest. So if you want to remember that word temperate, think temperature, cool and mild. Now, one of the things that makes this rainforest, temperate rainforest so special, is that we're not close to the ocean. We're hundreds of kilometers away from the ocean. We're over 500 kilometers away from the ocean. And boys and girls, this rainforest is the only rainforest in the whole world that is so far inland. So this is an inland temperate rainforest. And that's what makes it very unique and very rare. And it's the only one in the world, and it's right in BC. We're standing in it so high, five British Columbia. Now, the other thing that makes this interior temperate rainforest so special is that we receive snow here as well. So we get a lot of snow in the winter, which counts as precipitation. And in the spring, that snow melts gradually, and it keeps the ground here nice and moist. So the trees and the plants in here stay green all year long. So interior temperate rainforest. Now this forest is so special, it has its own very special name. And it's named after two trees that love rain and love water. And I am going to show you what those trees are. So, ready? Let's go down the trail and have a look. Follow me. So, boys and girls, this is one of the trees that the rainforest is named after. And this is a cedar. So, I am going to teach you how you can always identify a cedar tree. So what we are going to do, we are going to look at patterns. We're going to look at patterns and shapes and colors. So if we look at the bark on cedar, we can see that the bark on cedar is growing in strips. And the bark on cedar can actually be pulled off and it comes off in strips. So this pattern is vertical. It's going up the tree. Now we can look at the color of the bark and we can see that it's a gray color. But if we look underneath, there's a little bit of brown underneath, kind of a ready brown. So it's growing in vertical strips. It's gray and brown underneath. And cedar is soft. It's not really, really pokey. It's nice and soft. And underneath here is almost kind of a fuzzy feeling. So this is one way we can tell it's a cedar, by the color of the bark, how the bark is growing, and how it feels. And if we look and we stand back and look at cedar, we can see it's very, very tall and it grows very, very, very straight. Now, one of the very special things about cedar, cedar can live for a long, long, long time. Cedars can live for up to and over a thousand years old. And cedars have very special chemicals inside them that even when they start to die, the dead trees can stay standing for a long time after they die. And so those special chemicals inside prevent cedar from rotting. So cedar is a very strong tree. When it gets old, sometimes it breaks open and there's a bit of a cavity in the tree and bears and other animals can come in and make 
their den. So this is a really nice winter home for bears and lots of other creatures too. So another way we can tell this is cedar is by the branches. So you can see the branches swoop down and they kind of go up and then they swoop down again. So it's very graceful. So we call these branches sprays or fronds. And if you look very carefully at the needles, you can see that there's a pattern in the needles. If you look really closely, can you see that that looks like a braid or scales, maybe like lizard skin? You can see there's a pattern in the needles. And these also remind me of feathers or a peacock tail. So there's another way you can tell cedar. And if we gently but firmly squeeze the needles together and smell, mmm, cedar smells really good, sweet and spicy at the same time. So boys and girls, this is our cedar tree, one of the trees that this very special interior temperate forest is named after. So let's go meet another tree. Ready? Let's go, follow me. Boys and girls, here we are with my favorite tree in the interior temperate rainforest. And this is the other tree the rainforest is named after. This is hemlock. And if we look at hemlock, we can see the branches in hemlock come quite low to the ground and they're very bouncy and springy. And if we look carefully at hemlock, we can see they look very, very different from cedar. So the needles on hemlock aren't plated. The needles are short, they're blunt, and they kind of poke up a little bit. We can see that hemlock is green on the top, but look, boys and girls, when we flip it up, can you see the different color? It's kind of a white, light green underneath. So dark green on top and light green underneath. And that's because there's a little white stripe that is growing on the needles underneath. And boys and girls, something I would like to share with you. One day there was a little boy here and he said to me, this reminds me of summer when everything is nice and green. And this reminds me of winter when there's snow and frost on the ground. So this is one way you can remember summer and winter. And we can take the branches of hemlock and do the same thing and squeeze gently but firmly and smell hemlock. And hemlock has a beautiful lemon and lime scent to it. It smells like lemons and limes, like citrus. So cedar smelled spicy and sweet. Hemlock smells like lemons and limes, like citrus. So boys and girls, another way we can identify trees is by their cones. So can you guess which cones are from the hemlock tree? What do you think? Do you think it's the big cone or these little cones? Well, I'll tell you what, these are the cones from the hemlock tree and this is a cone from a pine tree. So pine trees have big cones and hemlocks have little cones. And people always call the cones pine cones, but this is a pine cone and this, these are hemlock cones. So this is another way we can identify hemlock. And remember, we can also look at the bark on the trees. Now, if you look in behind the hemlock, in behind there is a cedar. And if we look at the bark on the hemlock, can you tell how different it is from cedar? So the bark on the hemlock 
it's not growing up and down in strips. It's not growing vertical. It's a little bit scaly and it has a very different color. It's quite brown compared to the gray of the cedar. Boys and girls, we've learned about cedar and hemlock, the two trees the rainforest is named after. And if we put that all together, we get interior, cedar, hemlock, rainforest, a very special and unique rainforest, the only one in the whole world that is hundreds of kilometers from the ocean and the only one in the whole world where it snows too. Boys and girls, here is another very special tree in the interior cedar hemlock rainforest. And if we look at the pattern again, we can see the bark on this tree is very different from the cedar that it's in front of. If we look closely at the bark, we can see that it's peeling off. So the bark is very shaggy. The pattern of the bark here is very shaggy. And the color is a red and a brown color. And if we look at the branches of the tree, they're not graceful and sweeping like cedar and hemlock. They're kind of crazy all over the place. Now, you might think by looking at the branches that this is hemlock because it's green on top and the needles are short and flat. But look, boys and girls, if we flip it up, is it white underneath? No, it's still green. So there's no summer and winter here. So boys and girls, this very special tree is a yew tree, not a me tree, a yew tree. And we spell that Y E. W, yew tree. And you can see that there's something very interesting growing on this tree. It's covering the branches of the tree. And this is a very special lichen that grows in the rainforest. Now I'm going to pick a little bit and then we're going to walk to the river and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this lichen and do my magic lichen trick. We're here at the river, the beautiful Shushwap River, and no, it's not snowing. This is a huge hatch of mayflies right now, so that's pretty special. So I'm going to do my magic lichen trick. So you can see this lichen is pretty dried out and it's really crunchy and crispy. And I'm going to put it in the water, so watch what happens when it's been in the water for a while. I'm going to get it really nice and wet. So look at this, boys and girls. Look how the lichen has changed. It's not crispy and crunchy anymore. It's soft and flexible and kind of rubbery. And can you see how the color has changed? So it's gone from a gray green to a very bright green. And if you look carefully on the top and the bottom, it also has an interesting pattern. And if you have studied anything about your lungs, you can see that this looks like the lung tissue that is deep inside your lungs where the gas exchange, the air, and the gas exchange takes place in your lungs. So this lichen is called lungwort because it resembles the lungs and people. And the interesting thing about this lungwort, it does not grow in polluted environments. Some lichens will grow in pollution and scientists will use lichens to study how clean the air is. So this lungwort is an indication that the air in this forest is really 
clean and pure. The air is really good in here. So we can all take a really deep breath of beautiful, clean forest air. Now the other special thing about lungwort is when it rains, it takes nitrogen and gives it to the trees. So the rain rains down, the lichens collect it, it rains, it comes down the trunk of the tree and into the ground and the trees can soak up that nitrogen and that's what helps make them really nice and green and grow really tall. So lungwort is a very special lichen that grows in the interior cedar hemlock rainforest. Well, boys and girls, we are at the end of our walk through the rainforest. We learned how to identify cedar and hemlock and yew. We looked at the color of the bark, the pattern of the bark, the shape of the branches, the needle, and even the smell of the trees. And we have learned about this very special interior cedar hemlock rainforest. The only one in the whole world, and it's right here in British Columbia. So I really hope that you will share what you have learned today with your family and friends about this very special forest. So thanks for taking the time to walk with me. And you can come and walk through this forest anytime you like.